want to see what your inner heart says free it's no longer just a dream it's as real as you and me it's a world to make believe to those who cannot see but it's filled with fun and color You know, this is the story of the Emperor's new clothes. So, who wants to get us started? I will, I will. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was an Emperor named Alistair who had more clothes than anyone in the land. <laughs> I'm rich because I'd never be able to afford all these clothes if I wasn't. Now then, what to wear, what to wear. Emperor Alistair hired the best tailors in the land and filled his palace with mirrors so he could see just how magnificent he looked in his magnificent clothes. You look marvelous. Don't you agree? <laughs> Now, word of the Emperor reached two not-so-honest men who traveled to his palace with the sole purpose to take advantage of his vanity. Do you really think this is going to work? We got past the guards, didn't we? Yeah, but, but they were asleep. Now, the not-too-honest men were very, very clever and quickly made their way to the Emperor and his wife. Your Majesty, Your Highness. Are they talking to me? Yes, dear. Do I know you? At this moment, no. But you soon will, for my associate and I are tailors from a far away land. Tailors, you say? Well, that's a fine trade. Have you brought any samples with you? Yes, as a matter of fact, we have. But they're very special. Very special indeed. Some even say they are magical. Magical clothes? I don't believe I've ever heard of such a thing. Only the wisest people in the land will actually see this fabric. That's just how special it is. It will be invisible to fool who, 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 who's, and to those who are unfit for their office. Really? Can I have a look? But of course. Isn't it the finest work you who, 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 ever seen? And look at those colours. Now the Emperor saw nothing there at all. 
but he did not want to be seen as a fool or unfit for his office. Well, I must be that, and I do not desire to sit on this throne. I see nothing there. Well, I'll play along until someone else doesn't see it, or it shows me the error of my ways. And so the emperor pretended he could see what the two not-so-honest men were showing him. Well, your majesty, what do you think? Why, it is the most magnificent fabric I have ever seen. And the queen did not want to be thought a fool any more than the emperor. It is quite extraordinary, like nothing I've ever seen before. A little light, though, wouldn't you say? When the Emperor wears this, it will feel as light as a spider's web against his skin. It's almost like we're in nothing at all. <laughs> you can say that again. I simply have to have one. Or two. Would you like me to get you one, dear? Uh, no thanks. I, uh, wouldn't want to upstage you. Oh, that's very kind of you, dear. Think nothing of it, darling. Nothing at all. So the two not-so-honest men were given a place to do their soup. All the food they could eat and paid handsomely to create their masterpiece. And the emperor assigned his minister to see to their every need. The emperor has sent me to see if you need anything else. What do you think of our fine work so far? And the minister, not wanting to be seen as a fool or unfit for her position, said... Looks real nice. Not exactly my style, but nice. Well then, please tell the emperor his new suit will be ready soon. But until then, please order us another tray of food and drink. All this hard work is making us very hungry. And the days turned into weeks, the weeks turned into months, and nearly a year had passed when the two not-so-honest tailors brought the emperor his suit. Ta-da! What do you think? There you go, it's marvelous. How does it look? Oh, stunning. Great. Hmm, cold. This is truly the finest suit I have ever had. It's lighter than air. What do you think? You go first. No, Your Majesty. That should be your honor. Gee, thanks. I can honestly say I have never seen anything quite like it before. Nor do I ever want to again. Wonderful. Then we should show this to all my people. Allow them to share in all my joy. And all of your glory as well. Please see to it, Minister Jenna. Well, you're the boss. And, and, and we should be off to make others as happy as you are. It's our calling in line. Then see my guards on your way out, and they will have your final payment. Ah, thank you again for this fine new suit of clothes. Oh, it's nothing, Your Majesty. You can say that again. Oh, I'm so excited. Time for my people to see their emperor. They may be getting to know you a little better than you think. Oops, we better go. That's right. There really might be someone out there that isn't such a fool. fool. And so the emperor invited his people into the palace to see his new clothes. The people oohed and aahed as Alistair paraded around the halls proudly. No one dared to tell him that they were actually seeing more than they wanted to until... But he's not wearing anything. Who said that? Come to me at once! What's the big deal? You see, we're never in his underwear, and then you see him all. Ooh, not for me. Oh. Ooh. At least you wore clean underwear. Guards, get those too! 
now the two not so honest men were long gone, never to be seen again. The emperor realized what a fool he had been and how so many around him had followed his example because he had believed it was possible for only the wisest and most deserving could see the special material. And so he summoned the one person who had truly seen the two not so honest men for who they really were. Do you call for me? You are the young man that saw my magic suit for what it was, are you not? That depends. Depends on what? It depends whether if it's good or bad. <laughs> no, it was a good thing. A very good thing indeed. You are a very brave young man to risk looking like a fool in front of your friends and your emperor. Instead, you have opened my eyes and let me see what I should have seen for myself all along. You will always be one of my most trusted friends, and as such, shall be my junior minister. I will trust you to speak your mind. If I, you don't like what I'm saying? <laughs> Even if I don't like what you're saying. And so the emperor put away his mirror and gave away his extra clothes to those who really needed them. All this at the advice of his newest friend. And they lived happily and truthfully ever after. Wow, I wonder if it can be true. Anything can be true if you believe in it enough. That's right. And now I believe it's time you two got going. Thanks for telling us the stories. We had a great time. And we'll do it again tomorrow. But until then... Get someone you know to read you a story. You won't be sorry. And neither will they. Bye-bye. Come on, everybody. Let's go. We're little feet. We live in trees. And we love to play.